Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Heck yeah! My name's Timmy Joe, making videos about computers on the internet. Yelling about it. What's up, guys? Back with another video card review. It's been so long with a video card review. And uh, I just want to, right off the hop, just say Patreon, okay? Uh, buy my stuff on Amazon, watch my videos, subscribe, all that good stuff because uh, I'm on the verge of like something big here and your, you know, help in you know the channel all the youtube stuff you got to do it's really been paying off and if you just keep it up for a while there are going to be a lot more videos soon i'm hoping anyway so what are we doing docket today fire strike gtx 660 as you saw in the title i don't know why i'm pretending like it's some big surprise running uh, this but speaking of surprises i'm quite well surprised at the performance on this little guy i assumed i've actually had a 660 ti like a twin frozer way back and i remember doing well but this is you know a couple of years ago before a lot of the uh you know good things have been coming out lately have had come out like ryzen and uh you know some really low end cards that do really well like 1050s and stuff like that uh but this thing is, is a pretty decent little performer for sure it is a hundred percent worth picking up for a 1080p you know budgety sort of kind of cool build we got her on the test bench i'm testing it out i picked this thing up for ready for the cash register noise 80 dollars <laughs> canadian which is about 62 dollars usd which is right in line with the perfect budgetary price for such a video card and if you were able to pick up its uh ti brethren you do even better you do uh even better because this thing performs pretty solidly as we'll see in a second uh considering it's only got two gigs of vram okay and it's from uh you know the, a while ago kepler you know six six hundred series this is about where your starting point of uh, an video video card you probably want to pick up uh it only takes one six pin connector and uh you know you, you might be able to get, put this in just about any system and uh, as long as you can get a molex with one six pin off of a, a half decent 400 and you know depending on the cpu 500 watt power supply you'd probably be golden but let's look at the results I'm very interested to know because uh, I just cleaned this thing up. It's a 55600, but with a graphic score of just over 6,000. 6,000. That's really good. Really good. So uh, I did overclock this, and uh, of course, because you know, you got to overclock. And uh, I always recommend it's like a couple of a little bit of research, a couple of different settings in uh, Afterburner. It's worth playing around with. Uh, I pop uh, Afterburner up here. You see, I've got uh, actually it's hitting about 1300 megahertz on the core clock uh, with a 138 uh, point bump and on the memory 250 and uh, that equates to like a 15% boost in performance over the stock speed so it's always worth doing that my number was closer to 56 hundred on the uh the video um or the graphic score in fire strike so i'm gonna uh get rid of that sorry sorry and we're gonna go uh like this ha see budget king i think it's a freaking stupid good deal so remember that six thousand score in fire strike in the graphics department okay because a boof here is vega vega 11 20 the 2400 g uh, at its best it gets a not even four thousand okay so whoo freaking good stuff moving up to uh, uh 10 30 it gets about four thousand moving on to a uh, gtx 480 for me freaking griddle of a video card it only gets 41 and then a 750 ti the staple uh built after this built on maxwell even and yes it only uh you know it doesn't need a power connector uh, and this one does but I don't think this thing's going to be, you know, sucking that much power in a uh, regular old build. You're going to be able to put this in here, no problem. And actually beat out the performance. It gets a 51111 
uh, my Zotac 2 gig, uh, and, uh, you know, so it beats it out by almost a thousand points. That's freaking awesome. So, price-wise, it's really good deals. Now, there are some really silly priced ones on here for over a hundred dollars, but, uh, this $80 Zotac one comes to mind, and this is eBay. If you're looking locally on Craigslist and stuff and see a 660 or a 660 Ti for around 60 to $80, even USD, that's a pretty damn good deal. That is a much faster card than a 1030 ever could be, and that's a $100 graphics card these days. So a 660 or 660 Ti is really good. Now, compared to this is a 750 Ti, you see here it's beating the prices by just a smidgen. Now, you know, uh, the, even if it's on par, this ju I just proved this outperforms it. So it's totally worth it. Don't pick up this one here, though. This one's bad. So anyways, totally worth it. So specs on this thing has 960 CUDA cores, okay, and a uh, base clock of uh, 980. But uh, as I showed you, it went up to 1300. And uh, on the memory, you got a, uh, what, uh, six gigabits a second. Uh, memory bandwidth is uh, 144 to whatever. We overclocked it a bit. It performs pretty solidly. So there's some specs. And if you want to pick up its 660 Brethren with a TI on the end, uh, it has a lot more CUDA cores. And I can only imagine that it gets some close to 1050 ish performance. Like, that's a very good deal for something you should be able to land for under 80 USD. Uh, it's just, it's a really good one. So, you're here for benchmarks. I played some video games on this, and comparatively to uh, some of the systems I've been playing with lately, with like 1030s and stuff, or the uh, Vega, this does a lot better. Of course, this is a Core i7 system with a 660 on it. But uh, I was playing Far Cry 5, and uh, that's one of the latest games that have come out. And I was having some real trouble with low RAM and stuff like that on some other systems. This thing, 30 frames a second, you know, uh, is like, well, it's well above that. So let's check out the benchmarks. And when we come back, we'll do a little uh, conclusion. Because y'all, you know, I love y'all. Fuzzy over here. Hi, Timmy Joe, Fuzzy. Anyways, so we're back and uh, benchmarks just kind of proofs in the pudding, right? Not a bad little card. I cannot stress enough how good of a deal. This is actually going to be my go-to budget uh, suggestion because 
There were a lot of them sold. This is around the first cryptocurrency, you know, uh, the 7970, you know, uh, it's in and around the Bitcoin era when people probably weren't buying high end cards then. They were, you know, going with this stuff. And there's a lot of them out there. This was a very good mid range. And although it's still. You know, eighty dollars could be considered expensive for a card of this age. It's a good buy uh, on a budget system, and you're going to be able to play all your latest and greatest titles. Uh, two gigs of VRAM, VRAM might limit it, you know, upcoming pretty soon. But if it's one of those things where you only have a certain amount of money, and maybe you have a Core i5 from a few years ago, or even an AMD, you know, that's uh, you know Phenom, you know, six core or something, and you got her overclocked. Putting this in there, you're going to get really playable performance in your esports titles, your Fortnite and whatnot, and you're not going to have to worry. And uh, when it comes time to sell it, or you know, you can just revert it to another little system, a media center system or something like that. It's a good you know, all-around card to keep around. And uh, I'm happy I found one on a deal because I was pleasantly surprised. I was honestly considering this thing to be slower than a 750 Ti, and the fact that it's not even the Ti version and it does better, like that's a that's an a okay in my books. Plenty of cards in between it, but as far as Nvidia goes, they do a pretty good job for this older range of cards. And start at the six series, and as long as you're not paying too too much money and you do your research. You might walk away with a nice little deal. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. You know about the Patreon. I already said it in this video. If you can go to uh, my Amazon links and you know buy some stuff through there, uh, that always gives me a kickback. But uh, fundamentally, what I just got to thank all you guys for, all the Patreon guys, all the people that comment and you know first and like the videos on a regular basis. It's getting to a point where uh, it's hard not to justify making this my job it's getting close to a point where the money and the the time the effort if i was able to do like you know two or three times the videos uh i would satisfy you guys better and i'd satisfy my wife with the paychecks better through youtube and i might be able to do it more often so keep it up with the love share the videos if you like them if you like 660s hell you know there's one there's a good one for you but it's a good suggestion i think if you're looking for a budget system, uh, especially to play like Fortnite, this will 1080p Fortnite all freaking day long. So I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks very much for watching, Timmy Joe, and I'm out to the races. It's gonna be, I'm hoping, YouTube soon. Bye.